Hello guys and welcome to this um, new session. So before we begin, please like and subscribe. It is very helpful and thank you for your support. Also let me know in the comment if you have any topic you want we talk about. So today we talk about uh, type ahead block. So what is type ahead block? Type ahead block is opening script element that display list of result when a user begins typing in an input field. And when a user selects a record, the type ahead can retrieve additional information related to, to the record. And for example, a type ahead block can be used with data raptor to list account in the result. And uh, the type ahead is, um, you can find the, the type ahead block in the group session in the Omniscript script designer so you have to note and keep in mind that if the type ahead block exists in a block element only one block element is permitted so adding multiple next tech block will result in error and it ahead have different supported data source we have five types of, of data source. So type I have support five types of data source. We have there is JSON, where can be a, an area of JSON present in the of new script data JSON, the data raptor extra action that will retrieve internal or external Salesforce data. So in this uh, data source, we can have the data extract tubo or data extract action. We also have a Google map autocomplete. We have HTTP, uh, HTTP action that retrieve external data. We have remote action to retrieve data from Apex class. So let's go to the org and see how we can use data. We can use type ahead with data raptor extract to retrieve data from, from Salesforce. So as we say, guys, uh, this is an obvious script where we use to use a type ahead. So we we'll display the list of account uh, of contact first in the, uh, all uh, the contact by their names. So let's <coughs> go to the groups. Here we have the type ahead. So I can drop this. And we can just call this like contact. We make it as required. And now let's go to the action. So if I here, we can look here, data raptor. So we we'll use a data raptor extract tube to do this. So here, let's give the name. Start typing the, the contact name. Okay. So note that the action is inside the tab ahead. Now let's configure this action. Okay, so let's create new action, new data raptor that we call get all contact with name. Okay. So here we are going to select the contact and as the output let's call this contact with S and filter by the name where the name 
like and call this contact name as parameter and we select the, the name we we'll also take the phone and the email okay now the data raptor is ready so let's go here in the type of here as the input parameter you have to add here is the, the contact name and in the data source we have to pass the selected contact also in the data raptor action here in the response let's ask the response here we have the contact and note that the key the type ahead key contains the field that will be displayed in the in the tab ahead and here is the new label if you want to if you allow to create a new record so here let's take the the name and we can make a quick preview now that is i tap here road i have account with the contact rows i know that here we have the different we select this contact but we also have the name the phone the email and the id of the contact so this is how you can create a, a tab ahead <clears throat> let's go back to the designer and we will add also another field in the input let's take these two fields we add the phone That will also call here from and as the default value, let's add this is the phone Let's also add the email. So here we can just call the email and email. Let's put this as required and is the default value we call this email. Okay guys, so if I go back to the preview and refresh the page you see that the image is displayed and if I enter here again rows and choose rows I have the details about the name and rows don't have the email so if I click here on the edit button I will have the i will have here the phone so why we don't have the value here in the email it's just because the email is outside of the of the type i heard is is the reason why it's always displayed so we can also bring this inside the type ahead and you will see that if i go here in preview and refresh the email is not visible just let's choose for example a and you know that if i click here on edit i have the 
the phone and the email. I can change the phone. For example, I can add a value. You will note that the value changed also here, but not in, in Salesforce. And <clears throat> let's go back in the preview. In the type I heard, I also have this uh, session. We can hide the edit button. If I hide the edit button, I will not have the possibility to see the value displayed in the phone and the email. But to be sure, I'm talking about this. So the edit button is not visible. But if I add, uh, I choose the edit mode and I go to, to preview, if I refresh, you see that the phone and the email is always displayed. And if I change, for example, let's choose this, you will see that the two field is okay, it's fine. So guys, this is how we can use a, a type ahead to retrieve data from Salesforce. So it's used to read, a, a, it's used to, to read a, a record with uh, some details on the field. So this is how you can create and manage type ahead in OpenScript.